So I've been wanting to do one of these videos for a while, but I kind of wanted to wait for the show to be over and one to be like an actual completed list without some cap, like theoretical top and like um, shifters. I've seen some of those in the past, but all Titan shifters truly and more size comparison. So if they're going to do all the shifters and try to do it in one minute, 41 seconds, I'm putting this bitch in half speed just because I wouldn't want to miss anything and try to like talk over it. So let's see this. All tiny shifters, truly all in more size comparison. Let's go. Yeah, and before anything, like, yeah, there's going to be manga spoilers, but you should know that. Some small guy here. Biak is tiny. Jaw Titan makes sense. I didn't think the Jaw Titan was bigger. That's odd. Now it's going to be the other Jaw Titans. It's going to be Porco. Yeah. Porco. His brother. Okay. Wow, they just have different hair colors. Falco. I thought Falco's was bigger. Because bird, beast. That shit's crazy looking. I can't wait to see that in the anime. Oh, so that's the beast titan before him. He was a goat. That shit looks so cool. Frida Reese. Okay. Founding titans are small. Yuri Reese. That was the one that was friends with uh, Kenny, I think. M. Reese. Don't even know who his name was. Carl Fritz. Ugh. Annie. Annie could whop the shit out of any of those find founding titans. Aaron, too. In fact, his fucking... He's like the 15 meter attack, but then his... His founding titans are so huge. His father, Grisha, okay. Aaron Kruger, okay. Yeah, I forgot he lifted up the whole boat. Reiner's the same height. Do we know of any other armored titans, or is Reiner the only one we've seen? And no. Okay, the Warhammer. Does Aaron's titan with the Warhammer get any taller, or is it the same size? Falco has a pure titan. Motherfucker was tall as shit. Zeke. Way to compare him when you made him the crouched over version. 17 meters though. You know he was the tallest of the little group. He fucking shrink the whole world. Rod Reese. So that's just laying down it's 40 meters. Fertile, okay. Regular. His tall asshole had skinny ass arms. God, our means has skinnier arms. <laughs> And there's Aaron's that just looks like a fucking beast. Source of all. Oh, so the weird ass worm thing is 80 fucking meters? Like, is that like long or just like tall? So I thought, I remember, uh, what's his name? I was tangling with that Reiner. It's such a weird thing. Rod Reese standing up 170. 170. Ymir's one 240. Aaron's founding is 350. That shit's gonna look so. I hope they do that justice in the anime. Because if they manage to flop and, like, not do that properly, it's gonna be very saddening to see his Titan get absolutely just butchered. Like, sometimes the CGI Titans look a little off, but I don't really mind too much. Like, because the story is so good. But I hope they get that shit right. Especially, um, because if you made it this far, you don't really give a hell about spoilers. So I'm spoiling this shit. Especially that point where he has all the titans from the past hop up and, like, appear on the skeleton of it in the back to fight them. They better do that shit justice. There's so many titans there. I'm, I'm, I hope they do it well, man. I pray they do it well. Because if they don't, there's going to be a problem. There's going to be a problem for sure. I like the ending. I personally really do enjoy the ending to Attack on Titan, so I don't really give a hell. I'm super excited for the anime. I know there's a lot in the manga only, who are just like, or the manga readers who are like, this ending goes against everything that it was originally meant for. No, it doesn't. He used his founding titans to tell powers to tell all, everyone, talk to them in the past, and he erased their memories. That's one of the main things he never did with his founding titan. He erased their memories. I love that whole concept. And then he took the um, the power of the Titans at least temporarily away. 
he did he did give them some of the piece. They gave us a number for how much they they took, like how many people they actually killed in the rumbling. Um, and they proved, like, yeah, even if Aaron wanted his hardest to try to um, get peace in the universe, you weren't going to happen. Peace is never going to exist in the world. You can try, but it's just not going to happen. It's just the sad reality of it. So there's stuff like that where it's just like, yeah, that just makes sense when it comes to the story. Seeing that Mikasa just still goes. The weirdest thing for me was the bird. The whole bird thing. Like him reincarnating himself. I think that may have just been a coincidence. But then again, the bird was around. Um, seeing how Armin's finally starting to maybe do something with Aaron. Levi's story ended in such a beautiful way. Like, I like the ending. It's not the best ending ever, but you're never going to get a perfect ending for stories. Especially something you've been waiting 10 years for it to finish. So, yeah, man. Attack on Titan was a decent-ass story. I still think it's one of my favorites of all time. And I can't wait to see these shifters. Half of these ones that were on this haven't been seen in the anime yet. So I can't wait to see them in the anime. Yeah, man. What'd y'all think? All Titan shifters, truly all and more. Size comparison. I like the way they do these things. These things are always so cool, like power scaling and stuff. I love watching these videos every so often, but if you're not careful, you spoil, your, spoil yourself. So that's why I made sure I finished the whole Attack on Titan manga before I watched these things. Let me know what you want me to watch next. I'm out. Peace.